Pardons you. 5,004, 5,005, 5,006, 5,007. Ah! Carter, I didn't see you. What are you doing here? We made this appointment? Did we? What are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? I'm getting a pump. <laughs> With five pound weights? Welcome to Feed Me More Fitness Rebuilding Ryback. I am the big guy Ryback, and today we're here at my home gym once again, and I'm here with the lovely Carlin Crouch with the newbie device, which you've been on conversation with the big guy right back and explained all this, but what exactly are we gonna do today? Well, we're gonna train shoulders with right back today and anywhere the pads are placed, he's gonna get close to 100% muscle fiber recruitment. So he's gonna go lighter in weight, but those light weights are gonna feel much heavier than they normally do. Now, normally when someone's working out, how much muscle recruitment, if I was just training shoulders normally, the average person gets around about 40%, give or take. Oh, wow. So we're going 100%. So the weights are going to be lighter, but I'm actually, well, I'm probably going to be more sore doing this correctly. Correct. Because all your muscle fibers are being stimulated and recruited. And now for me, and the, the, the reason why I'm so interested in this, and you work with me on my ankle and regenerating my nerves, and we've seen some positive things the last four mm -hmm. weeks. I've had a lot of issues with my shoulder with having the the seven or eight stem cell procedures on it and i had atrophy in my lat and tricep in my rear scapular region is this going to be able to help recruit a lot of those muscles that have been dormant for some time for sure okay so this is gonna be pretty intense set. yeah all right let's do it so what are you doing right now carlin facing the pads sort of doing track to it's kind of hits all your heads of yours you sure are the pads big enough for my body <laughs> I'm a little smaller than normal. Uh -huh. Some people, I don't know if you saw, I put an Instagram picture of my abs recently. Some people thought I had a gut from eating the food once a week on Ryback TV, but I still, I still got it. All right, so when I turn this on. I feel like a machine, like we're doing some sort of secret. <laughs> you have to get the dumbbells for me too. This is <laughs> yeah. great. I don't have to go get my own dumbbells. Yeah. We got to start off. Oh, wow. This is. <laughs> I feel this in like my neck too. Yeah. How high, now we do this on my ankle and stuff. Now how? So this is, I'm lengthening you, which is that rehab signal that you're familiar yeah. with, the 500. So just like warming up your muscles. Yeah. So that feels good. Yeah. And you do this here in Las Vegas, you train people with this. I do. So people specifically come to you, like if they have a lagging body part or things, mm -hmm. and they can train one-on-one -on -one with you here right. in Las Vegas. Yeah. This is truly rebuilding Ryback today because my shoulders have, I, I used to do like 150 dumbbell presses and I can't do that with my grinding anymore until I get the strength and the stability back. Yeah, for sure. I know you don't Jeez, believe me, so but I, I really did. It's, I was Larry Wheels before Larry Wheels. That was back before social media. So and here I am now. Just How much would you broken know man. Like, like the hundreds, but we could just go with like fives or tens, whatever. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's start off with fives or tens to get warmed up, just uh, on this movement. Thank you very much. So your warm up is going to be at five hundred. You're going to go through a range of them. Okay, can I stand? So what am I now? What am I going to do? You're going to do front raises. Okay. Lateral raises and then bent over rear delt flies. Okay. So, so tricep. We're going to go. We're going to go to failure on each. To failure. Ooh, like this is CT Fletcher stuff right here. <laughs> So just so it's going to be right here, mm -hmm. is am I am I okay doing it? Because this is part of the rehab. Oh wow, I felt that. And then right here. Yeah. Okay. Boy. Do each movement till failure. Oh, so just this till failure. Just that okay. Till failure, then move to lateral. I'm dumb. I'm really dumb. I'm okay. sorry. That's what they all say. Carlin, what makes this different from like TENS units? Because I know a lot of people are probably watching and, and it looks a lot like the old TENS unit machines. Why is this different? 
it's AC, it's DC current. The Tenzinas are AC current. Oh. So DC current is a direct current that mimics the same signal your brain sends to your muscle. So your body actually can recognize a signal and it's more therapeutic than the TENS units are usually AC current. Yeah. And it's well, non-therapeutic and actually cause harm to your body. And a lot of people don't know that. Our brains use direct current. Right. Which is what, don't worry, what I do to you? Ah! Failure? No, they don't, I don't believe in failure, Carlin. Oh, I'm a machine. The pain will go away if I, oh. Okay. What's the machine on? How, tell everyone how strong it is. 45. Oh, so we have 55 more to go? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's not kill me now. You're calling failure. Is it failure until I tap out, Carlin? Can I get, I can't die from this, right? No. <laughs> this is the most intense pain I've, I know though, because from the ankle that my brain will get used to it if I fight through it, but you keep going higher. It's like, oh. Okay, we'll go to the next one. Okay, okay. <laughs> mercy, mercy, mercy. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of makes me feel like that, right? Uh, <laughs> I'm almost out of breath and a weird from fighting. Wow, that was intense. Oh, I feel the burn now kicking in. Son of a bee. <laughs> it feels so good though too, because it's hitting parts of my shoulder that I can feel that. Mm. I feel like a Russian science project. <laughs> <laughs> I must break you. <sighs> I was just gonna say Drago. <laughs> <laughs> Minus the drugs. <sighs> oh my God. <sighs> the stimulation running through my body right now. It's the first time I've ever felt alive. What level are we at? 59. Oh. 50. <sighs> okay, okay, I felt, I felt that. Tickle me Elmo. <laughs> People are watching me. These weights don't do it justice. This is like a thousand. <sighs> Asian massage spa hands on me at once. Ah! <coughs> this one, what are, you, what are you doing to me? Ah! Okay, 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 okay. Oh my God. So that was your warm up. It's only going to get harder. I would suggest staying with that weight. Only five pounds or 10 pounds? Okay, what else? Because the current's going to flip and it's going to feel a lot harder to move through that movement than it just Okay. Is. What do you, what do you, would you like to do next? We're going to do that same. Same thing again? Mm -hmm. I feel. Just a different current. So you were at 500 previously. Okay. I'm going to flip you down to 55. So it's what, gonna be a harder contraction when you rip through. Harder contraction? Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay. We, so you know that to build muscle, you have to break down muscle. Yeah. So you're, it causes muscle breakdown by ripping through that contraction. Yes. So you're sending, we're sending it 55 pulses per second. Your brain sends it two pulses per second. So we're just doing some massive, massive breaking, breaking so that's down. why they say you get close to like four times the workout in one because you're getting so much more muscle fiber recruitment. You can literally rip through more muscle fibers and build more muscle fibers by using this. And it, the weight is irrelevant almost. Right. It, wow. Okay.
I'm not gonna lie. That is very this for the people watching. It is intense. This is. I'm sure my body's jacked out of everyone's mind right now. Just looking at this Hulk-like physique with these ten-pound dumbbells. I know you don't understand, but it's it's intense. I look like Hulk. Fishing. I'm good. Come on, let me get a few in before you start. Jeez. Ah. Feel the difference? Yeah, it's a different curve. It's a lot harder to move through. Yeah. These feel almost like 25 pounds to me right now. I believe it. Pretty quick. <laughs> I feel like I'm. This is working out Don't with Corky. Swing. Don't swing. Sorry, working out with Corky. I feel my muscle firing in my shoulder. Why is this getting so hard? Because you're going higher on the machine. Oh. And you're fatiguing. Oh, I could fight through a car and then have a machine. The cybernetic organism that was set for the future to come back and save mankind <laughs> from artificial intelligence. Ryan, uh, come with me if you want to live. I can't let the future down. And we're going down. Okay. All right, everyone, hot eyes. Right into it. Yeah. Okay. Right into it. Hey, this is your show. This is, this is it's my show, but it's your call. <laughs> That'd be a good way to get out of this one. <laughs> ah, we had to stop filming, guys. I'm sorry. What? A little accident. <laughs> Carla, let me down. And the reason why I, I normally, I do side laterals two different ways. This is the more of the rehab way for my shoulder that we're just doing with this because I really want this to hit what I'm looking for. Have you seen the new Terminator yet? Mm -hmm. I want to see it. Ah. Oh. Oh. I should use this on my triceps. Oh. Okay. Why do I feel... <laughs> Sorry, it took over my neck. I didn't give up though for everyone. I didn't hit the other guy. That took over my neck. That right side's all messed up. Ten pounds has never been so difficult. Ten and it never will be. I can't imagine doing this at a significant weight. You wouldn't get any reps. No. Okay. Oh, 
Yeah, that's, that feels good right there. Now I feel them lengthening when he's resting to allow the muscles to lengthen back out. Oh. I don't know what to think about this. This is so intense. <laughs> I, I, it feels so good. It's, it's like a... Sorry, it's a, I'm experiencing so many different emotions with this. Yeah. Because it starts off pleasurable, like, and I, it feels really good, and it doesn't, it never hurts, but it gets like, it's just, it's, it's intense. It's, intense. That's it's addicting too. Like, once you work out with it, you kind of want to work out with it all the time. That's, <laughs> I'm on, I, I really think, too, I think too, if we can today, and do a couple shoulder things, and then maybe do it on my triceps too, and do a few tricep things. Because that side had the atrophy on it too. Okay. If we could just to get it while we're yep. on it. What, um, okay, what would you like to do next? Um, let's do presses. Okay. All right. So next, Carlin, I got my nice on it Gorilla Kettlebells. Um, because my name, Ryback, actually came from the Silverback Gorilla. Because I look kind of like, I always got a weird forehead. Kind of gorilla-like. And my friends used to call me Silverback when I was younger. And then on a drunken night in Louisville, Kentucky, I was looking for a new wrestling name. And I was born Ryan. My nickname was Silverback. And a bottle of Burnett's vodka and maybe a little chewing tobacco. I was watching Terminator 2 and decided that my new name was going to be Ryback. So here we are. There you go. It's stuck. Yeah. But anyways. <laughs> <what we're... laughs> I wanted to make that as awkward as possible. The... I'm going to do kettlebell presses where I usually use this as I'm getting into the side press using my body for, to work out my core a little bit. It helps, so, but what I do is, is I'm here and then I go up, I'm gonna crack a little bit until I, just like that. Is, am I gonna be able to use this weight with this? Yep. Okay, here we go. And this is balancing this with the upside down and this is only, I don't, this is a 12, I think it's 12 pounds. Yeah. Maybe a little heavier, actually. That's good. Oh, wow. I never get out of breath lifting like this. This is like... Yeah, you're breaking up too. Yeah. And it's like 52 degrees for you. Yeah, it's, it's pretty, a... pretty chilly out. Okay, go to the left side and see how this does. There's no way to describe this feeling to people. No. They, I, can't. I always have to say, you have to come try it. Yeah. Like, I, it's... <laughs> it's so intense. I think I'm just trying to be funny to focus on it so much. Okay, it came out of my hand. So what we're going to do right now is a superset of standing my normal side lateral raises. And then we're going to go right into seated rear delt, rear delts, um, and see see how many I can do on this. How am I doing, Carla? Am I doing all right? Yeah, I'm doing good. Are you just telling me that? No. Okay. <laughs> I usually do more heavier weights, just so you know. Okay. I don't believe it. No. <laughs> Perfect. Is that machine even on? Barely, but it's doing it. Uh... 
Can you slur your words? Yeah. <laughs> it's a new form of language. <sighs> Call it Neanderthal, man. <clears throat> oh, I got this all day. Aww. Casey, I hope you have a lot of footage on that. I hope you have a lot of memory. We're going to be here all nothing to look at, people. Just a big guy in his home gym. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, 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 you brought me to my knees. Okay, okay, we get the point, we get the point, you're strong, okay? We get it. Me, get it. you, it. come on now. People look at me, I look like a Russian science project, like I said, and my neighbors are gonna, are we all right here? Can you use these on your biceps too? Yeah. Oh, I definitely want to try a set of biceps and triceps with this and see. You can use it on any body part to train. Oh, I know. But never mind. Don't go there. Yeah, I'm not going there. I like to stay monetized. That is the craziest feeling. My arm, that like you just can't, can't go anymore. Yeah. But I'm not, it's not like it's a different fatigue. Yeah, totally. It's, it's a real mind. And it, and it hits you instantaneously. Yeah. Like you got that little neck, that lot, next to the And that gave out first. All of a sudden it's like, yeah. I don't have it. And this one gave out before my left one even. Yeah. I noticed I it that. more so. But the next exercise I'm going to do is something that for me, uh, with Andrew Locke, a physiotherapist who I've been working with. Uh, I do different cable rows actually for my, it's to help my, because my right lat atrophy a lot during all this somehow, it's, and it's crazy, and it's coming back, but my external rotation has been limited from having the arthritis and everything with the no cartilage, uh, but the rows, I wanted to feel what this is like with a, with a kettlebell row, essentially. On your shoulders, or do you want me to move the pads? Do you think we should move the pads for that? Or you could do bird doll lats. Can, yeah, can we do that? Yeah. Okay. We'll get that just to... So you're first engaging your lat, so your the black is gonna go on your lat. Okay. And then red is gonna go on your your adult. Now, Carlin, when you use this machine on people, the pads, do you have to like is there like a, a routine for cleaning the pads or is the um, person who's just lucky enough to go after me gets to use my pads? No, each okay. person has their own pads. That makes me feel good. So you're reusing your own pads. Okay. Are these the ones that go on my ankle, essentially? Yeah. Oh, I have my feet all over me, Carly. You do. Oh. Oh. What did you... What? All right. You know what I'm interested in in this, Carly? With this, for doing my ankle, though, because of my, my shoulder and my back... I want to, if we, need, we should figure out a rehab training program of doing this possibly once a week in conjunction with the ankle. Mm -hmm. I might, because I don't know, I feel like I need this for my lat and shoulder with everything that I'm doing. Okay. You can do that. I feel it more on my left side than my right. This feels really good, actually. The left hurts a little bit, but the right side feels good. I feel like I'm rowing 100-something pound dumbbells right now.
fight through the pain. Why is it whenever I say a comment like that, it gets really tough up there? <laughs> I feel like you really... That it's my lesson of the day, guys. Stay humble and shut the fuck up. Just do the work. Okay, okay, okay. okay. All right, so uh, my shoulders, Carlin, are... It, like, I feel... I was just telling Casey, I feel... Like I haven't, oh, they're probably not big enough. You need bigger pads. <laughs> Sorry. The, <laughs> um, I forgot what I was, oh, was going to say. You're so dumb, so stupid. I can't make a joke and keep my focus. <laughs> the, um, that my shoulders, I feel like I haven't done anything, but they're so fatigued right now. Right. Sorry. My muscle blaster, arm blaster's in the way. I need to go around. Sorry, I'm making it more difficult for yeah, you. There we go. So, do you need me to turn sideways? No. Okay. My arms, so everything with my injuries, with all the stem cell procedures, my arms have actually, in a weird way, my right arm, my right arm atrophied um, with all of this. And it's, it's coming back. And it's come back pretty good. It's still not what I would call 100%, but um, I haven't been able to train. Like I'm doing more free weights now and training at a better um, intensity weight wise where I was doing a lot of light machines just to keep everything stimulated the last few years. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious to see, I wanted to get these on my biceps and triceps and see um, how this feels. And what we're gonna do is I got this arm blaster here. I don't know if, will I be able to, yeah. We're just gonna go with the bar here, correct, Carlin? Correct. Do I need to, uh, Casey, maybe a little sideways or? Oh, you're good. Is it, should we though for, oh yeah, we'll go. What would I do without the car line? <laughs> Maybe a little healthy, okay. Got it? Yep. Oh, I feel like this is gonna, let's give me a, give me a little time to get a pump. Don't, don't rush me out, don't run me out. This bar has never felt so heavy. <laughs> ah, lightweight. for his backup, this would be I want better bicep veins. I've always, I got like the cutler effect where I can get vascular everywhere else, but my bicep veins are never quite as good. Why is that? Because you're recruiting blood flow to the muscle. But why is my vascularity, like in my forearms, like nurses love my veins. Um, they, like that's a real thing. Well, that could also be genetic. That's what I'm saying, like, but my skin and my biceps is, I'm just delaying actually, I just didn't want to keep curling. I'm not being a little bitch, I promise. I am, maybe. Oh. Come on, veins. Ah, feed me veins. Oh, I can't see them though because I got these damn pads around my arms. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Very humbling, this machine. Very. I've trained guys that can go to 100 on their arms. Wait, what was? You were at 35. Wait, no, hold on a second. Don't, don't throw a challenge at me on my show. <laughs> I was, I didn't know what we were, I didn't know it was a competition. No, I'm just saying. We've done a lot of other exercises. I'm sure they come in and just like do biceps, right? That's it? Sometimes. Yeah, so that's kind of it. I've done like seven or eight things. Yeah, I know. That's, what, you feel like you did that to make me feel bad? <laughs> Look at no, that. I'm giving you I'm, walk, <laughs> I'm walking like the guys with the imaginary lat syndrome at the gym. So true. I, this is this is my walk around. A little bit narrow, but yeah. 
Um, yeah, it's a little narrow. I need a little wider stance, but I feel like that's kind of a challenge now, Carla, on my own show. Grab the bar. I, well, how? I'm out of breath. I can't see. Okay. I want to try one more time, Carla. I want another chance. Okay. Can I have another chance? You can have another chance. Okay. You're a fair person. I appreciate that. Um, how quick do they go to 100 on that? Uh, You're about to find out. I mean, I don't want my biceps to explode, but I didn't feel I was just more fatigued than anything because I did so many. But, okay. We'll see. Let's see. This was just supposed to be a shoulder work. This is just an exhibition. It's turning into a gym competition. We got to go up. We got to. So we got to pace this. What are we at? Okay, feed me more. What are we at? 30, 30. Feed me more. Ah, what are we at? 40. Ah, feed me more. What are we at? 50. Mm, feed me more. Where are we at? 55. Feed me more. All the, the vibrations of the God, feed me more. What are we at? 67. Come on, I'm so slow. Feed me more. Ah, feed me more. Okay, ah, where are we at? 83. Huh? 83. I can't hear you. Feed me more. Is this going to tear my biceps off, Carlin? No. Okay, ah, okay, ah, feed me more. 90. Ah, feed me more. Ah, I did it, I did it. I just had out the wine in case he had out the wine. Did 100, ladies and gentlemen, 100. That was impressive. Your first time using Oh, I'm vibrating, I'm vibrating so bad. Is that the, oh, that the. That's the lengthening. Yeah, oh, I need that. I wasn't, this was just supposed to be an exhibition, Carlin. Why did you make me do stupid stuff? <laughs> I didn't make you. Make the people. You took it as a challenge. I'm so stupidly to... competitive with people. Why? Just trying to put it in perspective. I, I'm really trying just to be competitive with me. <laughs> I have a lot of work to do, Carlin. Why am I like that? Okay. Because you're a man. That's I'm the big it's in guy. In y'all's blood. I'm, I'm the big guy. <laughs> it's trademarked. But it is. You're right. Okay. That was the most intense fucking thing. I thought my bi. So I was all right up until. When, when I, I feel like right when we got to 80 is where wherever that range intense. where I thought maybe I might die. I am. No. <laughs> so my my long head on my tricep, I've just now started doing kickbacks because my shoulders, that's been my my triceps are my one. And I say one to someone's watching. Look at one weak body part. You can see the piece of shit. The one body part on me that I feel like doesn't grow like everything else. They always say everyone has like that one body part, right? Yep. Triceps, I feel like, are that on me. And I, but it's my long tricep head. I never was, I never was working it out properly. I've realized with different exercises, but a lot of that's because a lot of my shoulder, I wasn't doing certain things not to hurt my shoulder. Oh, you're gonna be relaxed? Sorry. <clears throat> Showing off for the camera. That's, that's all that we do around here. <laughs> it's all show, no go, Carlin. All show, no go. That should be, name. That should be the name of the show. All show, no go. <laughs> what are you gonna do first? I'm gonna go over to the tricep machine, Carlin. Stuck. <laughs> Stuck. So damn yeah, big. <laughs> Come here often. We're gonna do now triceps, Casey, here. Then just before we start, so before I burn myself out on the set, I have to prove myself because I'm a man. I to prove on this one. No, what is, what the, the guys you normally see, what do they normally do? They go up to 102 on this? I, I'm trained guys that got gone to 100. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta remember, I come from headquarters. These guys were training here. The newbie, the, the newbie headquarters, mm -hmm. people that they're like used to it though. They've done it before. Like probably not on like their first time, right? Not on their first time. Yeah, which I did so though. You did do it on your first time. Two, two. All right. 
Well, I'm gonna keep that up. I, and we're going, we're going till failure, so I might as well. What, have we, have we, where do we at? Right here, 21. Okay, 21. Ooh. Oh, this is gonna suck. Ah! This feels so oddly good. I get vibrations in my hands. Yeah, for sure. Oh, more on my left than my right. Well, I mean. Is that more neurological maybe on my yeah. stuff going on? Because it, oh, it runs into my tricep. Yeah. Oh. We're probably close to 100, I'd imagine, by now, right? Not even. Uh, where are we at? 35. Oh. Are we going up in fives or what? 45. Oh. Tell the people where we're at, Carla. 54. I thought we were going by fives. No. Doesn't uh, go by fives. Oh. 61. Okay, I gotta fight through the pain. Ah! Oh! Oh! Sweet! This! I know. It's vibrating into the bar! I'm a machine. Can you fight? Okay. Alright. Oh, I'll take it. I'll take it. Casey, you have no idea that this is. Hey, what the fuck was that? <laughs> I just want you to like the name. Oh, they relaxed. <laughs> they were so locked up, I didn't even realize. Oh my god, she turned that on and like it just everything just relaxed. <laughs> oh, this is. So, Carlin, where can people do like this? Is called the newbie new fit. Is that? It's the newbie buying. New buying new fit, right? Yeah. And then also Bioenhancement Technologies sells the machines as well. What's the name of the company again? Bioenhancement Technologies. Okay. Do they have a website too or is it yep. where they uh Bioenhancement Technologies? Okay, dot com and then yep. the new newbie and new fit. It's N E U, like neuro. Yeah. So it's N E U dot fit. And they can read about the newbie device. And they're on Instagram as well. Correct. And then you're on Instagram as well. I am. Also, yeah. Carlin Crouch IFBB. It's Carlin, K-A-R-L-E-N underscore IFBB Pro. Okay, and you're here in Las Vegas, Nevada, obviously. Yeah. And if anyone wants specific training or rehab, because, and I get, and this is in, like no bullshit, for my nerves and my ankle and leg, I suffered um, uh, when I was 28, and for wrestling fans, they know uh, an unfortunate incident wrestling in Hawaii when I was part of Nexus. Uh, I broke my ankle in three places and continued to wrestle. I spiral broke my leg up to below my knee. And Casey, well, just to show people there, if you see that scar I've had, I got a scar on the inside of my foot as well. Um, there on the inside all the way down. Uh, and I'll explain to people. I had, uh, unfortunately, there was a situation. WWE sent me to a bad doctor in Tampa, Florida. Uh, he botched the entire surgery and put a foot-long metal plate and two screws through my perineal and superficial nerves. Um, unfortunately, took three surgeries. We're finally, uh, I was sent to Birmingham, Alabama, and a doctor took all the metal out of my leg. And I just recently, the past year and a half ago, got the rest of the metal taken out of my foot that they left in. Um, but it had done what they said was permanent nerve damage, uh, in which I was told by three doctors before I ever returned to WWE as Ryback, that I would never wrestle again. Luckily, uh, I was able to come back and, and have my career, but I suffered nerve damage where that perineal nerve that runs into my back, where a lot of my back problems have stemmed from as well, they think, with the L4 and L5 of that perineal nerve, I lost function of the inside of my foot and my big toe. And with this, we've been doing it for four weeks now, mm -hmm. I'm getting function, my triceps, triceps are going crazy right now on this. <laughs> that we're actually seeing areas of my foot and my nerves firing uh, and getting feeling in places that have been dead on me for the last, since 2010. So I could speak firsthand, which is why I wanted to bring you on the show, that this machine actually for people with, with neurological issues and disorders. And what, is it, there's other, what other issues can this help with? I mean, anything, any injury related 
condition. I mean, it can be muscular, um, neurological. Yeah. Because if you have any time you have surgery, you're creating trauma to the area. Yeah. So your body's going to be in a fight or flight response, and it's going to shut down signal to those areas to let the body heal. Well, sometimes those areas don't ever get turned back on fully, yep. and so your muscles don't fully recruit in those areas anymore. So this can find the areas that are you're neurologically deficient, pinpoint those areas. We can put the electrodes on them, send your same signal to those areas to get on firing again to wake up the... Which and, yeah. your brain, and it, it can literally bring back dead areas on your body. Correct. And like I heard, and when I talked to the different people, I think it was Rich I spoke to with, with New Fit, but they'd mentioned that people with paralysis too have had mm -hmm. positive results with this. Yeah. And I know that it worked firsthand with like Undertaker down in Austin, Texas, mm -hmm. and helped him come back for his stuff with WWE uh, with his knees, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, this, it's really cool the technology with the direct current. So I, I'm a big fan of it, and I'm looking forward to it's helping me with my ankle. And if I can get my ankle and my big toe working again, uh, I can regain athletic uh, function and mobility that I've lost that I never thought I would quite possibly have back again. So yeah. um, really cool. I, I really, really, if you have issues, please check this out. Check Carlin out. And thank you very much for coming on Feed Me More Fitness. You're welcome. We're building right back. Yeah. My triceps are going crazy right now. <laughs> this is crazy. Thank you guys very much. Get hungry. Stay hungry. Feed me more. Thank you guys very much for watching Ryback TV. If you could smash that subscribe, hit that like button, share this channel, and for Feed Me More Nutrition on feedmemore.com, save 10% with Podcast 10, click here for my podcast conversation with the big guy Ryback, available on all podcast platforms. Click here. And for more videos of yours truly on Ryback TV, click here. Feed me more.